on the same side with the police. We don't want people out here getting drunk, fighting, stabbing. Right. We right. want the same thing the police want. We that's don't want right. crime amongst our people. Right. That's it. So that's the thing. You gotta ask yourself, how can I say I love Christ and I don't know none of these answers to these questions? We help Tucker, that's our sister right. in Christ. That's right. We're gonna help you. Right. We'll help any race out here if they fall out. Because right. our mission is not to hate nobody. Right. Our mission is to tell you who you are and to keep the commandments. That's right. Hey, this is the truth that you take our time to read it. It's real interesting. They got a lot of truth in here. And if y'all read it, y'all find out what's going on in the world today. Oh, oh. About to bring the beat. About to bring the beat. I stop for this anytime. I love my black men. I love my black men. Honestly, I put my shit in park behind this. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. We're here for the Black Bike Week Festival. What are we doing? We're out here showing our people there's a better way. There's a better example. We on your street every day, day. Put your past to go trip like a vacation. Stutter around, let it hit. I say, wait. I got pain they can see in my face. You can wait. Pay for them gates. Drop a pants at time and a place. We gon' roll over duck like skates. We gon' take you no need for a mate. Bobby the fish and I'm hungry. No switching up. Hit a script, not a split on I'm blowing up. I can't lose to the spirits. I'm showing up. Growing the spirit, but they say I'm growing up. Super young, but the That's beautiful what you guys are doing. You guys are great. Amen. Saying to you, you understand what he's saying to you so far? Now, you, I, the question for you is, because you're my brother, why do you think you're on the path to live the right way? Why do you think that? According, according to what? Is this something you feel? You believe you believe in Christ, God, Jesus Christ? Okay, so why do you think that you live in good according to Christ? There has to be a reason why you think that. Because you think it, you feel it. So why do you think that? There ain't no right and wrong answer. I'm just asking you a question. I can tell you why I think that way. Okay, what, what, okay, now, now, now according to, so you believe in sin, right? Sin and not sinning? Okay, what is sin? What is sin? What, would a sin be doing something wrong or right? So right now you think you're not sinning, right? So why do you think you're on the right path? What sin, no. what sin you commit? No. Turn me off. Turn me off. You're going to get sin. I'm going to get sin for you. I'm, I'm just trying to get you to think because I'm telling tell you right now, God dealing with you. This is why you're starting right here talking to us. God is dealing with you. But now it's up to you whether or not you're going to take what God is saying other than what you feel. That's right. We've been lied to by this man for a long time. Right. This man said, just feel good about the Bible and you're good to go. Christ don't say that. Right. Real. We're going to read you what sin is. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin. All right, so whoever, whoever, whoever commits sin does what? Transgressing also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So the sin is breaking of God's laws. Right. The brother was showing you this around, Exodus 20 and 8. What is today? What is, what is today? You said Saturday, right? Now we got in the Bible, God said, God didn't name the, name the days Saturday, Sunday, Monday, did he, right? He said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Out of them seven days, which day is special to God? Sunday. That's the question, eh? for all three, any, any three of y'all. You don't know? I didn't know, bro, so you good. Bible going to show you real quick. All right, read it. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day. He's saying Sunday, right? Let's see what the Bible says. To keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Okay. What, what day are we can this right now? What day are we? He says six days shall you labor. Now you got seven days in a week. Which day is this day? Seventh day, right? Boy, you, you ordered something right there. Look what God said. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. All right. But the seventh day, but the seventh day, which is today, read, is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. That's right. Is the, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Today is God's day. Did you say you love Christ? You love God? Today is the day that you should be worshiping God. That's Put me right. in His word. Now, you believe in Christ, right? You believe in Christ, right? You have Christ? What day did Christ keep holding? We believe in Christ. Sunday, what nigga. day did Christ keep holding? Sunday. Sunday, nigga. That's the question. All three of y'all. Do y'all know? See, that's the thing. You gotta ask yourself, how can I say I love Christ and I don't know none of these answers to these questions? 
Luke 4, 16. Luke, come on. When Christ walked the earth, was there a New Testament? Let him know. Think, think about it. When Christ walked the earth, was there a New Testament? So what was he following? Exodus 20 and 8. And did, did he come Did he come to change that? Hell no, nah, he ain't come to change nothing. Right. What day did he worship? We're going to read Luke 4, 16. It's the book of Luke, chapter 4 and verse 16. Read it out. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And give me that sign. Give me that sign. Give me that sign. Give me this sign right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came to, he, when he'd been brought up, read. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. All right. And as his custom was. As his custom. What, what's a custom? What's a custom? If you don't know, I'm going to tell you a custom right now that you're doing. A custom. You come out here every year, right? For the most part, people come out here, right? So a custom is something that you normally do, right? A custom is to brush your teeth in the morning time, right? So Christ's custom, something he normally did was what? And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue, the church synagogue, when? On the Sabbath day. On what day? The Sabbath day. On this day. He went to the street and teach like we doing. After this, we going back to the church like Christ did. So if you love Christ, we should be doing what he said do. This, uh, yes, bro, this dude lied to us, bro. All these is lies right here about Sunday. I just love God and now I'm going to get to the kingdom. No. Christ said the black Messiah said keep the commandments. That's right. Do you know he was a black man? Yeah. Bring it out. Did you know? Okay. You just, you just common sense would think that, right? But if I said no, nah, I don't believe you, how would you prove it? Yeah. And that's when you felt. So before that, you ain't know he was black. I mean, I heard, but heard it, but, but you can't really couldn't prove it. Yeah. You wanna know where to go to to prove it? Revelation 1.14. It's right in the Bible. We've been we've been now you can put that down. Put that sign down. That's good. That's a lie. And get the other sign. And you let me and you ask me, tell me what when we read this, does it line up with, with that or with this? I, we ain't saying his nose is this size, his lips, we ain't saying that. We saying that the depiction of this right here is what the Bible has. So we're gonna read it for you. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read 1 and 1. Book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. All right. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now look, go back. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. So the, the color was white and woolly texture. Who would that describe? Off top, the other one can't, can't fit that. He ain't got woolly hair, but read on. As white as snow. All right. And his feet and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet were like fine brass. What color is brass? They're coming for that lady right there. Move out the way. Oh, she over there. They're coming, they're coming for her right there. She fell out over there. We did. We said, no, that's our sister. We don't care whether or not you following us. We still going to help you. Right. We helped her because that's our sister right. in Christ. That's right. We're going to help you. Right. We'll help any race out here if they fall out. Because right. our mission is not to hate nobody. Right. Our mission is to tell you who you are and to keep the commandments. That's right. Keep reading. And his feet like unto fine bread. Right. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. So what color is Christ? Black. Blacker than you, Dusky. Blacker than you. That's right. But the lie that we've been taught by the, by the, by the other race that worship on Sunday, right. just believe in God, right. and don't keep. Romans 6, verse 23. Bring it There's out. a penalty for breaking the commandments. In the New Testament, we're going to read it. Romans 6, verse 23. It's the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death. Is what? Is death. Read on. But the gift of God is eternal life. So the breaking of God's Sabbath is death. Do you believe? Do you know that God got a dress code? You think so? You don't think He got a dress code? You don't think He got a, He got a way? So all you know is that I'm, I got you. You saying I ain't selling drugs, I ain't killing nobody, so you good? Is that is that is that the reason why you think that you you be good with uh, with God? Because you ain't doing nothing crazy like that. You got a girlfriend? Do you sleep with women? That's not your wife. Sometimes, right? We did it, bro. You can say we did it. We ain't no better. You probably say you know, as long as I'm with one woman, I ain't doing so bad. Get a, get a, yeah. No, get a, get marriage. You gotta get your wife, bro. You gotta get with one woman and make your, make her your wife. We all had to do it. Right. We didn't know it, but we had to. But we had to. When we read this, we realized. Read this. It's the Book of Hebrews, chapter thirteen, and verse four. Check it out. 
Marriage is honorable. He said marriage is honorable. To get a woman, meet her, court her, prove her, get to know her, that's an honorable thing. Check this out. This is what we, this is what we used to do. Marriage is honorable and all. And the bed undefiled. All right, know what that mean? What that mean, the bed undefiled? I mean, when you got your woman, what you do in that bedroom, as long as it ain't against God's laws, you can do it. As long as you ain't doing BC Adderley, threesomes, whatever you do between you and your wife, you can get as freaky as you want to. Just gotta be within God's laws. The bed is undefiled. That ain't none of nobody's business. You know how you had a homeboy, you, you tell her how you how you dealing with the woman? You ain't supposed to be doing that. You wanna tell another man how you dealing with your wife? The bed, that's between you and her, but we take this part out. But, whoremongers and adulterers, but whoremongers, what's a whoremonger? Whoremonger is what you doing. See, when a woman that's not your wife, even if even it's one woman a year, God calls you a whoremonger. This is what he gonna do. God will judge. God will judge. What, what do you think that mean? Whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. What do you think that mean? It's gonna be a way to sin. It's gonna be a penalty. It could be AIDS. It could be herpes. It could be gonorrhea. It could be unwanted kids. That's the judgment that we have for breaking God's laws. Do you, do you got to face that? No, because Christ said all men are sin is, is forgiven. So I'm not trying to condemn you, bro. I'm trying to get you to Acts 319. I'm trying to get you to, to repent. That's right. it. Right. See what you're doing wrong at and go. Now, two brothers up two brothers up here up here with you, right? They was up here with you listening, right? They going now, right? You ever heard the scripture? Many are called, but few are chosen. You ever heard that? All three of y'all was called. But who could be the chosen one? Could be you. You the one that stayed here to listen what the they said they love God too. But whatever it was, they walked off. You the one that said, you know what, I'm trying, I'm gonna give these brother a few minutes to listen what it ain't really what I'm saying, it's what the Bible is saying. Right. That's right. No matter what I'm no matter what I'm saying, you gotta check it out for yourself and see if it's real or not. Right. Read Acts 3.19. This is what God wants you to do. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. What what converts you? Convert means to change, right? What do you think is gonna convert you? On top of your head, what do you, what will you think converts you? Well, convert means to change. So what do you think is gonna change you? It said repent. Repent means to change your ways and be converted. What do you think is gonna convert you? Tell what what is though? You got it. No, we, no I'm saying, what do you think? The, the, the ways that you're doing wrong, what do you think? Can convert you to stop doing those ways. We're gonna read it for you. We're gonna read it for you. We're gonna, we're gonna read it for you. you got, give me a give me convert. The book of Psalms. Bring it out. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Right. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. God's laws are perfect. Right. Remember the Sabbath day, friend is in your clothes. Right. Keep Pentecost was coming up. Right. Keep Passover, right. not Christmas, right. not Easter, right. not Thanksgiving. Right. These are God's laws. The fringes, the Sabbath day, read. The law of the Lord is perfect. What does it do? Converting the soul. It does what? Converting the soul. That's why it says repent you be the, before, therefore and be converted. The laws will convert you back into living the way God said to live. That's right. That's it. That's what we're out here to do. That's right. We're on the same side with the police. We don't want people out here getting drunk, fighting, stabbing. Right. We right. want the same thing the police want. We That's don't right. want crime amongst our people. Right. That's it. We can't, we don't want to break man's laws and God's laws. But what's most important is God's laws, not the break. Because them laws will keep you in death. Right. The ways of sin is death. What's up, my brother, right here? You listening? Or are you recording? You got a question? So what you recording? What you want us to know what this is all about? This is the, these signs right here, bro, shows your true nationality. You understand that? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Jamaican? That means land of wood and water. That's what your nationality is? Let's think about it now. What's your nationality? He said he's Jamaican. What's your nationality? Are you African American, black, Negro? What's, what are you? You black? Okay, you black, right? Your your shirt is black. Your skin ain't even black. 
How can your nationality be a, 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 a color in a crayon book? Let's think about it. We went around saying black and how can you even be proud saying I am black? What does it mean? It means nothing. That's a lie that been told to us by the ones that brought us into captivity. Black, Jamaican me land of wood and water. You got pride in that? You got pride in that? It means land of wood and water. You got pride in that. How can you have pride in something like that? Think about it. We're going to show you who you really are real quick. Listen. All right, Mike. My name Mike too. What's your name mean? What's your name mean? Mike, what does it mean? What, is, what does your name mean? What does Mike mean? My, that's my same name as, as me. Mike means one who is like God. Y'all come here. We're gonna show you. We're gonna show you. We're gonna show you who you really are according to the to the Bible, right? The brother said he's Jamaican. That means land of wood and water. Brother said he's black. Black is, is is a color in the crayon books. What's your nationality? Yeah. What's your nationality? Negro, African American. What are you? African American, African come from Leo Scipio Africanus, a Roman general. American come from Amerigo Vespucci, a uh, Italian navigator. You ain't Roman or Italian. How can you be African American? We just call you to think. That's not your nationality, bro. According to the Bible, you are Israelite. According to the Bible, and we're gonna show you real quick. How did, how did you get here? How did people get here from Africa? How did they get here? By boats, right? Yeah, by boats. That's in the Bible, bro. Hey, brother right here, Jamaican brother. How do people get into Jamaica? From Africa to Jamaica, how do they get here? By boat, right? Let's read it to him. 28 verse 68. We're going to read to you real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. This is in the Bible, a curse that would happen to our people. This is what you said by boat. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Into Egypt again with ships. Egypt means bondage. Slavery, right? He said they're gonna bring us again into bondage again with ships. Who that happened to? Bring it up. Happened to us by slave ships. Right. When we when, when we got here on slave ships, what happened to us when we got here on slave ships? When we got here, show them a picture. Where, where, give me a sign showing them. Give me a sign showing what happened to us when we got here on slave ships. Turn it around. You turn it around. Look right here. Hold this up. Hold this up. Hold this up. You see right here what you just said? You see this? When we got here. On slave shit, what happened to us? Bring it up. Remember the yokes of iron upon our necks? Remember the iron? Remember that? <laughs> Who that happened to? Only us. We're gonna read it. Give me verse 48. You listening, brother listening right there. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Bring Listen it up. up. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Read on. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Alright. And in want of all things. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron. Upon thy neck Read on. until he have destroyed thee. He said he's gonna put a yoke of iron upon our necks till he have destroyed thee. Read Deuteronomy 27, verse 1. Who's who is Moses talking to right now? Who are you talking to right now? You know who you're talking to? You listening? We're gonna read who is he talking to right now. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse 1. Bring it out. And Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you this day. That's read it again. Right. Keep all the commandments I command you this day. Right. Who are you talking to again? And, and Moses, Moses with the elders of Israel. Moses is talking to the Israelites. You understand that, brother? He wasn't talking to, to, to Jamaicans, right. Haitians, African Americans. Right. He was talking to the Israelites. That's right. You from the tribe of Benjamin, brother. Right. How? What? What sounds better? Benjamin, son of the right, or land of wood and water, Jamaican? Right. Which one is better? Which one can you have more pride in? Benjamin, son of the right, or Jamaican, land of wood and water? Right. Which, one, which one holds more weight, more pride? Benjamin, that's, that's right. you, bro. That's right. you, ain't no, you ain't no Jamaican. But you got to keep God's laws, man. What is today, today, right now? You, you believe in Jesus Christ? You believe in Christ? Jesus Christ? So what day is today? You, you follow Christ, right? To the best you can, you follow Christ? Do you, do you worship the same day Christ worshiped on? You do? What day is that? First day of the week? Okay, so what day of the week is today? So what day of the week is that? Seventh day, right? Okay. Now you said Christ should worship on the first day, right? Okay. Give me Exodus 20 and 8, Luke 4, 16. We're going to see if you're going to change your ways and worship the day that Christ worshiped on. I agree with you. 
Worship the same day that Christ worshiped on. All right? We're going to get it. Exodus 28, verse 8. Come on, it's the book of Exodus. Hey, come on, come on, come on. She just turned around. She turned around. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. He said, remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Six days shall you labor. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. He said, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Right? That's in the Old Testament. So when Christ walked the earth, what was he following? Now remember, when Christ walked the earth, there was no New Testament written at right. all. So when Christ walked the earth, what was he following? The Old Testament, right? So what day did he worship on? So why you worship on the first day? Think about it, bro. You've been lied to, bro. Me too, bro. It hit me like a ton of bricks too. Like, why? Like, now, now I'm going to show you in the New Testament what day Christ worshiped on. We're going to read it. The book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. This is talking about Christ. Where he'd been brought up. Read. And as his custom was. As his custom was. What's a custom? I just went over this right before you got here. What's a custom? Something you do all the time, right? Yeah, like a way of life. So one of your customs right now is to worship on, on, on the first day of the week, right? That's one of your customs, right? Let's see what Christ cut. Now we said we're gonna follow Christ, right? Let's see. What do you say? Question as a as a, as a as a Christian. So Christianity, right? Okay. Where is the word Christianity in the Bible? Yeah, Christianity. Where is it? I, I, I will, I will, I'll tell you this. Every brother out here, and me included, we will give you all our money right now if you can find Christianity in the Bible. The word Christianity. You can't find it, buddy. A lot of money right now you can get. You can't find it. Now, why would I take that bet? Why would I take that bet? Because I know it's not in there. Christianity is not in the Bible, bro. Not in there at all. Hey. We're going to, so we're going to finish it out. Finish it out. What day did Christ worship on? Finish it out. Just finish this out real quick. You got a flyer? And, and, he came to, and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, his custom, he went into the synagogue. He, the, he went to church. When? On the Sabbath day. On what day? On the Sabbath day. On today. Not Sunday. That's right. He was following Exodus 20 and 8. Right. He didn't change no laws. Today is God's holy day, brother. Are you going to follow Christ? Worship on the Sabbath day. You're an Israelite. You're a Benjamite, brother. You ain't a Jamaican, brother. Keep God's laws. Stop smoking, drinking. One more. Read on. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 20. Chapter 2, verse 21. Great scripture. Read. For even here unto were ye called. All right. Because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow. Hold on. You hear that? Christ leaving you an example. Hold a tent. Hold a tent. Hold a tent. Christ leaving you an example. Read on. That you should follow his steps. Bruh, perfect scripture. Follow his steps, brother. Get that flyer. Come holler at us. We got a school right there in uh, Columbia, brother. Repent. All right? We are the gods of this earth. And God sent us out here to restore the decay of state of our people. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, Christ said, said we, ye are God. Ye are what? God. We are not brethren of men, sis. When we come back to this Bible, we are God. It's one day to know Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. But I didn't know God didn't care about no other race on the planet but mine. Nation is family. Nation is community. 
nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 